the journey really begins now. It's happened. I just quit my job. I had big plans. I had big, big plans. Like the journey starts now. It really does. Hey guys, hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so, so excited for this video. I am so, so excited for 2023. I know it's the first time I'm back here, but like, also, if you, like, if you know, like, I'm always on Instagram and always on TikTok, so those are better places to see me <laughs> daily, but I really wanted to come and record and share this video because do you know what, guys? When I, when I started this business journey, I was like, I'm not gonna get mentioned, but this is like one of the videos I knew I was gonna share. Like I was going to, I said to myself, that I wanted to document the whole journey, the ups, the downs, the goods, the bads, the wins. And I really wanted to share that when I hit my first big goal, when I hit my six figures, like the first six figures, I wanted to share that because firstly, boy, you know, you literally know, like, when you're building a business, how hard it is. Um, you know how hard it is. But also, like, the first six figures, I think, is, like, well, I've heard as well a lot of people say, like, it is probably the hardest because, firstly, you're building something and you don't even know if it's going to fully work out. You don't know the ins and outs. You you don't know what you don't know and you are daily trying figuring the things out testing going again re reinventing things um innovating things trying to get better um yeah testing testing things and i've constantly said this like on my channel but like it's almost like you are building a plane and at the same time you are flying that plane and it's hard and it's difficult but when you hit that goal i just think it just reminds you that like firstly wow you can do hard things like i said that goal for like the year that's what I wanted to hear and I'm so happy that I even hit it before the year had finished and and I knew that like I wanted to come and share what I had learned for my first year of building my business but also when I hit the six figure because you know some people may say we're all like you know are you sure you really want to be sharing this like don't talk about money don't talk about xyz you know evil eye all of this and I understand, I, I do understand why some people say that, but I understand what younger Victoria needed or Victoria uh, who started this journey. Like I, sh like I needed this. I would need these videos at 3am when I'm waking up and I'm thinking, boy, is this even worth it? Like, is this? Because to be honest, in those times, like the last year, when I was waking up at those times and I'm just like, it's hard. And if you are building a business, you also know what I'm talking about. It's difficult. I would have to watch, I watched um, people like Gary Vee or Stephen Barlett's videos and like, their vlogs and it reminded me, no, I can do this. I can do this. And I hope that this can help and inspire someone who you're at the point that may be like, I don't know, like if I can do this. I hope this will remind you, no, you can do it. And also, I, I think it's so important because this year I built and I didn't really have any investment. I didn't have loads of mentors guiding me. I didn't have, I just, I didn't have a lot. But all I had was probably books, <laughs> um, courses, YouTube, um, like, yeah, like um, as well, like Gary Vee videos and like Stephen Barlett's videos. And like, I understand the importance of like just sharing because it can, it can really change so many things. So again, that's why like, I'm gonna, that's why I wanted to share this and I will continue to share like, you know, the progress because it's been an interesting year um so yeah i hope this video inspires someone i hope this helps someone and i hope it reminds you if you're building something or if you're interested in building something that you can do this and it may be hard it may be difficult you may fail a lot but you can you don't have to do my route of like quitting your full-time job but you can do on the side but you can still do it um so without further ado, that's the long intro. I'm so excited for this, but let's get right into this video. And I'm gonna be talking about how I, in my first year, built my agency from zero to six figures. Let's go. So, so for those of you who don't know me, I am Victoria Zubike. I am the founder of The Us Group, um, which is a recruitment agency um, focused on helping great organizations find and hire 
talented and great women. Um, and about a year ago, I decided to, a year and a bit ago, I decided to quit my corporate nine to five job to pursue this entrepreneurship journey. And boy, it is a journey. It's a, <laughs> it's, it is a journey and it has been such an interesting journey already, but like one of the best. Like I have probably learned more in this, in this last year and a bit than what I've learned in my degree and like working corporate yeah four five years like I've learned so much in a year because again like I always say um it's literally like you're building a plane and at the same time you have to play you have to you have to fly that plane like especially if you have a service based business there's things like account management so managing your clients as well as like making like so your sales like you need to bring like so sales is the lifeblood of every business right so you have to make sales you have to manage that on top of managing your clients and then marketing as well to make sure people know what you're doing and then also making sure that you can keep everything going so balancing your time and that has been such a, a journey but it's been such an incredible um, journey of just figuring things out and trying and if you were here like one year ago right I made this video of why I left my nine to five and it's just it's interesting that like you know it's just so amazing that like one year later I can talk about like a huge goal that I have been able to hit being six figures and like yeah like who knows what's next and I will continue to share the journey um yeah I'm going to continue to share the journey. If you don't like it, me not care. Me not care. If you love it, I'm here for you and I'm going to keep on sharing it. Um, but let's get right into this. I have a few things that has helped me this year to scale my business and things that I've learned um, and developed. And if I was looking back and I could do it again, it was things I really consider and think about and i've got my laptop here um, so the first thing i think is so essential and it's the lifeblood of every business right you don't have a business unless you can solve a genuine problem right so you need to be able to solve a problem that the market actually needs and sometimes you know at the beginning you may feel like oh i know i know what i'm doing i know like you know this is this is going to be the women winning formula you will not know that until you pull into the market and you speak to your customers or you speak to people who you potentially want to sell to and they will educate you and they're going to help you understand actually oh this is i like that part or this part like this is actually what we need and etc so you need to make sure that you're solving a genuine problem and you're adding value value is essentially what you're paid for if you can solve something a pain point right then you are able to create value which turns into monetary gains and that's something i've really understood because i think there was at some point this last year i was like producing things that i thought was amazing and it wasn't solving a problem but then i would always try to get feedback and change it and make sure at the end of the day i am solving something that you know people actually need um which is essential i also want to make a disclaimer because which is super important because i managed to scale my business from zero to six figures but um some people may be like that's some people may love it some people may be like is that it <laughs> so but for me I know the year I've had and I know I literally yeah I know the year I've had and it's a lot for me um but one thing in particular I want to I don't want I want to make it so important is that things take time so I was able to do this in a year but like I offer events and slash recruitment and I've been like running events for five years plus Building those skills on how to run events and how to run them effectively has given me the credentials to go out and to build a business. So I want to also give the full picture as well because I think sometimes people want to rush to the end goal but it's also like you need to make sure that you have the skills or you have the credentials or you have the testimonies because that's what essentially people are going to buy and it meant that like I had done this for five years like running events for free. I had to even pay sometimes for free that when I had built the like the, the actual credibilities and the database and I went out people could trust me because I had the stats I had the facts I had the evidence for what I'm doing which I think is super so important um and I just wanted to share that um so yeah the number one thing is actually making sure that you're solving a problem and you're um you really speak to your customers to make sure that you are not just producing something that you think is essential but you're actually producing something that you know your customers slash the market needs 
So that's number one. Number two, um, number two is that you are going to get so many things wrong. But so, if I tell you the amount of things I have gotten wrong this year, it is, it is crazy. I want to say this, this one example because I actually want to give real life examples. When I hit past like um, the halfway mark of getting to six figures, believe it or not, I was still conflicted about what my name was. Like, I know, this is like raw, this is real. I wasn't sure. Sometimes I was literally, is it the us group? Is it us recruitment? <laughs> is it us program? Honestly, like, and that's the thing. I think I'm so comfortable with like failing. Sometimes I'll get on like client calls and then it's like, oh yeah, so, you know, I'll speak about the us group and blah, blah. And then later I'll be like, wait, it is us recruitment? Like, I was, confused and I, I really want to share this example just to make people realize that like because people so, I think sometimes we're so scared to start because we ne feel like we need to have things figured out no you will make mistakes you will make mistakes and you you but you will learn and you'll understand and this confusion I had hit the halfway point so I had to hit more than 50k at this point and I was confused so it just shows that like sometimes you have to start and you will figure things and you will figure things out along the way. And I remember that I was just like, wow, like you, you were so confused. But because sometimes I didn't really show it, like I would still, you know, I would still make sure that I, you know, delivered and etc. But these were the things that I was like working through. Um, <laughs> now I know what I'm called, us group. But like, you know, I was still confused and I wasn't sure. But um but I worked through it and that's the thing with like building a business there's so many things at the beginning you will not know you think you will know things but you will realize that everything majority of the things you for will be challenged the thing that you start off building in the beginning will probably not look like what you expect it to at the end of the year because you're constantly learning constantly changing constantly having issues and challenges and problems you're gonna learn and you're gonna develop and you're gonna grow and like another thing is that like i wasn't speaking to the right kind of customers in the beginning and it's only through practice and developing and learning that you realize oh this is not who my target audience should be because they don't need my service. Let me focus on this X, Y, Z. And let me try and really niche down and understand what this clientele needs. And then I can build something for, for them and get their feedback and then constantly keep on innovating and constantly keep on learning and developing. But that only comes when... But that truly only comes when you try and you realise that, like, look, I'm going to fail. Like, I'm going to fail. I've had a lot... But like, I'm just constantly okay with this journey. And like, that's the thing, the important thing is just being okay, that to, being okay and understanding that building a business, it's a journey. Like, I don't ever, I don't know what the end goal for my first business is gonna be, but I am so fixated on learning and developing. And I think that is, you know, the most essential thing to learn and to not get, and to start by starting and not get so consumed with, Oh, is this gonna work or like I don't know because trust me pff, there's gonna be loads of things that won't work but there'll be loads of things that do work and you'll build and you'll develop and you'll completely transform I think another thing I think another thing which is so essential is mindset and like it's so interesting because I've listened to so many podcasts about like the entrepreneurship journey and like I listen to I consume so much and the common theme when it comes to entrepreneurship that people do speak about or just building business is what will sustain you is how you think and like I really understood that like mindset is everything and it's so interesting because on loads of podcasts there's sometimes even this debate is like is mindset a privilege because like if you if you if you actually believe you can do it like I had this goal of like six figures I'm telling you I had no clients at the beginning of the year I had no idea but I was like I'm gonna hit I'm going to hit it. And another thing I've realised, I'm going to hit it, but I didn't know what I was going to hit. I didn't know how I was going to do it, but I knew I was going to do it somehow. And I think what helped me is that I was slyly, and I think this is a, a common similarity of people who build businesses or entrepreneurs, I was slyly delusional. Like, I was just like, it's going to happen. I don't know how it's going to happen. And I changed my thought, thought set. Like, I changed i changed my mindset like, i envisioned myself recording this video like i wrote up this video 
like a notion i've been writing this up for like a year because i was just like it's gonna happen like i had my title like i was like it's gonna happen and it was only a matter of times that only a matter of time that actually actually it was only a matter of time that things follow through but for me i was just like i knew it's gonna happen and i had this mentality for the whole year it was swim or sink like and i put myself into that fixation some may say it's a lot me yeah, i know it's important um and i was delusional and i and i thought that that has helped me because in my mind it was like there was no plan b it was like i'm gonna make something work and i'm gonna hit this goal and it's gonna happen and i'm gonna work to make sure i did that and i think i'm just so proud and so happy that that happened but i definitely do see that is mindset is so important and like this slightly sense of being like delusional and i think i've seen that in a lot of entrepreneurs that like they or people that yeah business owners like they they believe first and foremost before anyone and i think this is something my business coach like help me understand because i remember there was sometimes and i was just like damn like i don't know i don't know she was like victoria i can't make you be sure of what you're building you have to know like no something is going to work i know at the end of the day we are all human and i had doubt i had that man i'll even insert loads of different things like there was one day in may if it wasn't for august i'm so grateful for August because i've never cried the way i i wanted to call it quits like literally and i just had a conversation with my friend august and she just like she helped me and that was such a tough week like so many things happened like business wise but she reminded me like what's the why at the end of the day so a month may was probably today the hardest month of my life like it was so hard like so hard like had to make some tough decisions um just like so many things were happening like number one like my um laptop broke to start the month off so that just made things really hard like even now my bookshelf has just broken as well great i need to fix that um me like i've cried so much i was it even got so bad that like i got shingles on my nose and i've only <laughs> i've only ever gotten shingles before when i was doing my gcse's when i was really stressed and i was just just so low but i just said to myself like literally the message i've been sharing just focus on the one percent sorry or building a business is hard but you have to believe essentially that it's possible and it, it can work out and again i hope that this video will remind you in those hard times that it can it can because i started from zero i started from nothing um so yeah it can the next thing i've realized is absorbing knowledge from everywhere like this is so important like you don't know what you don't know number one and you've probably if you're a first time founder this is the first time you're building anything right i, I studied management at university right i studied the theory but practically building a business is so different so the best way i've learned um to help you on this path of building business is absorbing knowledge and going and find those who have run the same race as you who can help you understand who can help you make sure that you don't go through the same things that they have been through because they have that experience and they're seasoned in this field and i think that's something that helped me like i did a course like um a recruitment course and that was so helpful there were so many things that i so many tips i picked up with like building a business and just even like um automating a lot of things and building systems because systems emphasis is essential to make sure that you actually get stuff done and i didn't and i wouldn't have known that and i would have probably like delayed and taken so much longer with reaching this goal or just reaching my targets if i didn't seek out advice if i didn't like read different books and I'm, I'm gonna go into a lot more detail because what i want to do is turn this into a mini series of like my first year of building a business and i've got loads of tips and loads of things i've learned um because if you know how many times i've searched on youtube different things and i couldn't find them it's just like now i've gone through and i feel like i i want to share what i know um i don't think this can help someone um so yeah definitely i would say like seek out and absorb knowledge from everywhere like these are some of the podcasts or just the people that i watched this year i'm gonna put on the screen who really helped me um there were some great books that i've been like reading i'm gonna put them on the screen as well and also you may be thinking oh but like what course should i do what book should I read and do everything and consume in the way that helps you because some people may not 
prefer reading you may want to listen to audiobooks or you may want to do a course or you may want to watch youtube video whatever works with you i always do like a range of everything even tiktok even tiktok i have i will consume content on there for business like advice like crazy like seek out different ways everything i feel like everything is like useful so why not and the next thing i've just learned right is that it's hard it is very hard i know that i was i'm not made for this corporate life i'm really not made for the nine to five for working up a career ladder which so many people kill it at but like this is just not me this is not what i want to do um i have just so many plans and so many things i want to do so i want to take this time out now to like make these dreams actually a reality and to commit myself to the vision full time and i think now I'm at so much peace with myself and I know that like this is the time and this is actually to be honest what what I've this is always what I, I needed to do. I remember and it was so like I was so delusional when I made this video when I made the first video of why I quit my corporate job because in my mind like I've spoken to this with a lot of my friends and stuff in my mind I was literally like I believe everyone I really want to think everyone should like have their own business now i understand no like sometimes it's not because it is a lot of work and it's a lot of stress it comes with sacrifices it comes with days well or weeks like well, i don't go on weekends like it's not for everyone sometimes like i've seen and it works very well to like build on the side and then test the idea and then when you're ready if you want to then you can transition or you can continue to build that up because like why not but one thing i've realized it is very hard it's very difficult but that doesn't mean that it's impossible like if you're willing to apply yourself if you're willing to listen to what your customers want if you're willing to absorb knowledge if you're willing to like treat this as like like if you if you want it you can get it like you can actually get it it's, it is hard it's not for the faint heart and i think one thing that really helped me was sometimes with like working with like just this sense of like urgency and intensity like there'll be sometimes where i would get briefs and i would want to turn them in like in two days time like sort out the process uh, or find um the client like a candidate in like one two days because i just felt like i treated everything like in business like it's a matter of now it's a matter of like life or death it's and that's what helped me firstly like build a name for m i'm building a name for myself like you know i don't have a name for myself in the market yet so i want to make sure that like with any client that i bring on board that they real they're like wow like victoria she may be young but she gets the job she gets the job done and she gets it done well so that has really helped me like fight through those hard times it was just like okay what do i have in front of me what can i use how can i move really fast and just work with a sense of urgency to get things done and that's what's helped me and you know also managing my time but i'm gonna do a whole video on like managing balancing and managing my time so that's coming soon um because i've learned a lot this year and yeah and i think another thing i've realized is that you just need to focus on the one person i, I say i preach this like on my instagram like all the time if you're not following me make sure you're following me but i preach this it's just focusing on the one percent every day like what do i need to do today to move the needle forward like what is what is the one activity that i will be like yeah i did i regardless and even if i even if i didn't hit this goal of six figures i would like still be so proud of myself because like i have i had i didn't give up and i've learned so much this year and i i pushed myself i pushed myself i shared so much so many things that were uncomfortable i shared me like working in starbucks and like that was hard i shared the ups and the downs and like i think for me and i tried things and i failed and i kept going and i think for me it was just i'm proud that i kept to the one percent every day because i know eventually over time things compound so i'm very proud and happy of that and i think another thing i've realized is like enjoying myself in the process and understanding what enjoyment looks like for me and it's not the same for everyone else. like to be honest like i've really come to realize there's some things that it's not for me i'm not gun club like that's just not me i prefer to get dressed up look at you and go to a dinner and really enjoy myself and like that's what i want but i've realized that building a business is a long game anything that's good takes time to build and i don't want to look back 
and be 50 and be like wow like you worked intense for like 25 years but you didn't enjoy yourself like i honestly believe that again like i know i i still i still don't really balance a lot I, I, I know my enjoyment is very different to a lot of people but i still take time out when i can for myself and i think that's something i've learned i want to build and also live life like my whole brand and like if you go on my instagram like the what i what i put in my bio is that i'm here to really help women understand how to grow how to build and how to live life like and that's important for me because I don't want to build something and then just uh, get to 50 and I'm just like, you could have taken a weekend off, but you could have taken, yeah, something off. Don't get me wrong though, sometimes I go in bumps and I'm not going out anywhere. <laughs> and, and that was for me. And I'm so happy. Like, I love what I do. I genuinely love the business I'm building and what I'm doing and the life that I've created for myself. And I'm so happy. Like, I'm living that on my life. Like, I get, on my own terms, I get to help women, like, find their job, like, dream jobs, like that means a lot to me honestly to get emotional right now i don't cry for a lot of things but like when they just like women i'm always like uh, but essentially i'm very proud and very happy that i've been able to build this but i all yeah and i think it's essential for me in the way that i find comfortable and what i want to do to take those moments out and to live life and to enjoy like my trip to nigeria was amazing i've got a few trips coming up this year that i'm going to be documenting and bring you guys along which is going to be fun and i want to work hard really hard but play and enjoy even more um and the last thing i'm going to leave, leave you guys on the last realization i've learned this year is to trust your ideas to trust what you are doing and what you're building because the truth is nobody nobody is going to do anything for you when it comes to running a business listen you can get investment yes but you still have to build that damn business and one thing i've realized is that people will not be able to see anything unless you see it and also everyone has their own life right People are not going to believe it until you believe it and until you start building it, right? I've had so many times, so many no's. Like, I've had a lot of no's. I've had a lot of yes. But, like, I've had a lot of no's this year. But I trust and I know and I believe in what I'm doing. Even though it's not all the time, but, like, I do. I've had even sometimes like investors be like, you know, I think you should like people who wanted, I wanted to get investment for, I think you should change it like this or you should do it like this. And I'm just like, no, like that wouldn't work for my customers or what I'm trying to do. And I'm glad, I'm glad because then eventually you find people who are willing to do things your way. And then you come to a point, it's just like, I knew this was going to work. I knew. So trust your ideas, be a bit delusional, like make mistakes, like try and learn and just just have that goal. Whether it happens in a year, whether it happens in five years, you know, but trust that you are, that it's a process and it's a journey and stay on that journey, even though it may be difficult. If you know that this is what your why is and your long term goal is, goal is trust that eventually it will work out. Um, that doesn't mean sometimes you know you may have to change things up you may do or you may decide that actually i don't want to do this anymore but i want to do xyz but trust fundamentally what you're doing and the ideas that you have inside so yeah i'm gonna stop right now i'm so happy i've like thought about this video for such a long time such a long time and i'm so proud and so happy i get to share it i'm gonna set some clips as well like the day it actually happened um because that was it was a it was like three days before my birthday um and i'm glad that i'm documented this journey and i'm glad that i'm bringing you guys on it and if you're building something keep on going you need someone to like speak to or just advise always hit me up on my dms hey guys so i can't believe it i i actually built this business i actually built my first six-figure business in a year 11 days before my anniversary of like when i came, quit my co corporate job <laughs> what i was talking to you and three days before my birthday best birthday gift because i set this goal at the beginning of the year and i wasn't too sure and i was like can i do it can i do it and i i knew like i knew like i knew if i i knew i could like like i knew like deep down that like i could apply myself and even if i didn't reach it 
I'm just glad that like I didn't let anyone like talk me out of my, any of my dreams this year I didn't I didn't like anyone that came and tried to like come with negativity or like project their own fears on me it's like no no I love you but there you stay there I stay here and I built this I built this and if you've you, if you're building a business you know because <laughs> you freaking know how hard it is and you're building that and you be proud of that because it's not easy and you're doing it day in day out and that's like literally the reason why why i had to come and record this because this is what this whole this whole why i started youtube why i started to document and i just want to take this for for anyone take this as inspiration for anyone that like if you're build if you're building something hold on hold on to it like hold on don't let anyone that said project their fears on you get feedback keep on pushing keep on going surround yourself around people who get it who are on the same wavelength as you and keep on pushing it happened yesterday and i didn't really take it in but today taking it in i'm gonna go and treat myself to something nice <laughs> and then back to work but yeah I, I was gonna cry you know when this moment came didn't cry but i'm damn grateful because because also this has showed me if i set myself if you set your mind to anything you ply yourself every day you do what you need to do you work for it you put in the work you enjoy the process you live you enjoy do what you need to do you'll get your goal on that note i'm gonna sign out and head back home because i've got another meeting the video call but yeah even if it's gonna take me some time um reach out to me on my dms if you've got any questions any like just in general need someone to speak to I'm here and I will hope like this uh, this helps you. Um, I'm definitely going to be replaying this when I need help. But, but yeah, that's it from me now, guys. Um, do enjoy the rest of your day. I'm definitely going to be sharing more um, on what I learned over this last year. So yeah, until next time. Bye.